Hey there, comic fans. This is Comic Fan with a little video submission for um, Francis McMiniman. He's reached over 300 subscribers and he's hosting a 300 subs contest. And to that I say congratulations. I haven't been there yet. I hope to be there one day. Uh, but I'm going to take it slowly and surely, and uh, I'm sure he has too. I'm one of his new subscribers, so I thought I'd join in the fun and support him along his, his journey. So what I have in front of me here is a Mego doll. Those who were a uh, child of the 70s know all too well what uh, great things they were. Uh, people today would probably say, damn, uh, people in the 70s played with dolls. <laughs> you, you bet your sweet ass we did. Uh, because these dolls were way ahead of their time, in my opinion. Uh, but they, they followed a simple formula. Basically, most of their characters all con uh, consisted of the same frame. Just, they just had to put a, a different uh, costume over them. And they had a rubber head. So um, basically all they had to do was make different heads. They all pretty much, uh, for the males they had one uh, body for females they had another body and their formula worked really well um, but most of the time most of the kids as you can see this one was very well pl uh, played with you'll notice that the hands are are victims of of rough play now if you had a dog in the house most of the time you'd find uh, the dog would really like these as a chew toy and they'd bite up their hands and stuff like that this one <laughs> this one's kind of uh, withheld this the test of time uh, as you can see this one had some buttons now I think the only uh, the only kind of uh, competition that Miguel had back in the day was probably Mattel with their their uh, Barbie line but that was all geared towards girls this was uh, you know kind of a unisex toy as long as you liked comic books but Miguel also had a great marketing strategy where they would uh, get uh, rights to not only superheroes but a lot of celebrities and uh, other uh, TV shows. It was genius, pure genius. Um, done way before anybody else had done it. So like I said, this is uh, Amigo Doll, my favorite Spider-Man. I wish I had more to show you but I put most of my books or most of my money into comic books and, and not these dolls. Uh, I think my, my wife is pretty relieved about that, that I've, I've enjoyed a hobby of collecting books rather than dolls. So with that uh, being said, I'm going to follow this up with a small little commercial I found online. It's a great commercial. I uh, take in mind that this commercial was done in the 70s as well. So racism and sexism really hadn't come into play. Political correctness, if you will, had not really taken effect so enjoy the short video and once again thank you for hosting this uh this contest francis mcminiman and i hope you do well in your journey thanks bye introducing the world's greatest superheroes batman and robin the dynamic duo superman the man of steel aquaman the famous undersea crime fighter tarzan of the apes Shazam, now featured on network television. Captain America, fighting injustice the world over. Spider-Man, the weird wall climber. The Super Foes, the arch enemies of the superheroes. The Super Gals, Wonder Woman, Supergirl, Batgirl, and Catwoman. The Green Arrow, crime fighter from the forest. Iron Man, power personified. The Falcon, that great black superhero. The Green Goblin, Spider-Man's strange enemy. The Lizard, half man, half beast. And that fantastic green giant superhero, the Hulk. And for 1976, the Fantastic Four, the torch, faster than the speed of light. The Thing. Ben Grimm, Man of Granite. Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Girl both have the powers of invisibility. The 
Fantastic Four, fighting for truth and honor. Conan the Barbarian, with his sword of justice. Four, using his Viking power against evil. Mm -hmm.